Hello everyone and in this video I am going to be continuing with the vessel setup. The reason for this is I suddenly realised after I finished the first part I hadn't actually talked about how to move the counters, um, how to see the counters, concealments and all sorts of things like that. So we're going to cover all that in this video. The first we're going to look at is movement. Now to move a unit we just click on the unit, hold our left mouse button down, and we drag it to where we should put it. But we need to declare how many movement points are actually expending as we're doing it, as it's not done automatically for you. So in that case, it would be one movement point, two, three, five. Now to move a stack of units, in this case I've got two squads and light machine gun. Just draw a box around the units we wish to move. These are now being grouped together. And again we just hold down our right, sorry, left mouse button and we drag them to which hex we should move them to. Now they're going to stay grouped together until we can ungroup them. Ungroup anything or just move an individual unit from the stack. Just open them up by double clicking on the stack. And we just highlight which is the one we want to, click on it, and just move that by itself. Now if we wish to see what units are in a stack of your own, or any of your opponent's units which are not concealed, all we do is just hold the mouse over the units, and it will tell us what's there. In this case we've got two squads. What the hex terrain is which is clear and the actual board number and hex number in this case it's board 61 hex l5 if the units were concealed belonging to the opposition player if you put your mouse over it nothing will show up except for a concealed marker and again the terrain and the actual hex involved but you cannot see what's actually contained units are actually contained there. Now Vassal can also make our job a little easy. If we right click on a unit, we get this table open up which gives us some options. The top one, HIP, stands for Hidden Initial Placement. If we click on that, the unit goes sort of the peak. Your opponent now can't see it, we can still see it, and we now know that's actually a HIP unit. To make it visible again, all we do is right click and hit HIP. It now comes visible. This next one is to move. So we can mark the unit is moved. CX, which then puts a CX marker on the counter. Now when we did the CX, if you look up in the chat window here, you'll see that Vassal has now told everybody that a CX counter was created and in which hex and on which board. This is useful of course if your opponent happened to be looking somewhere else and didn't notice. The other things under the move gives you some alternative ways of moving. First of all we can use our number pad if you didn't have a mouse. So 8 on your number pad will be straight up. 9 will be to the up and right, 3 is to the right and down, 2 is straight down, 1 is to the left and down, and 7 is to the right and uh, left and up. Alternatively, you could literally click on these, so the direction 1, which is straight up, your counter moves straight up. Next one is conceal. If you hit that, or you can hit the Control C, we'll put a concealment marker on your unit. This then can't be seen by your opponent. Well, they can see the concealment marker, but they can't see the actual unit. Concealment's under, but you can still see it. It's normal. And next one is label, which just allows to put a label on it. 
So in this case, we may decide that uh, we like to define the counter as squad A. Just put an A in, do OK. It now appears above the counter there. We can use a label to put anything we wish to do. Remember, of course, we put labels on. These can be seen by your opponent. Remove the label or change it. Let's go back to label. Brings up the same box again. We just delete that. And just push OK. And label is now gone. The next one is Heat of Battle. So if we get a battle hardened unit, we click on that. Our unit ultimately goes to the next highest level squad. In this case, it's Elite 468. EOR takes us down a level. So again, we go back to 467. Berserk. We'll put a little tag on the side of the unit saying it's Berserk. We should remove it. Just go back to Berserk again and it will be taken off. And the bottom one is Fnatic, which does exactly the same as Berserk. We'll just add a Fnatic marker on the side of the unit. Again, if we should remove it, just go back to Fnatic and it comes off. Next one is Break. We click on Break, of course it breaks the unit and puts DM marker on it for us. If we wish to remove the DM marker, just double click and we go down to Delete. The unit start is broken. We wish to switch it back to a non broken, just hit Break again and it goes back to your full squad. Next three. We'll just add counters onto us, our units. So if we just did prep fire, we can hit that, put prep fire. Again, to remove, double click, and click delete. We've also got first fire and pin. But to be honest with you, it's a lot easier actually using the counters at the top by just dragging and dropping them on. Next one is squad half squad if we've got a squad and we wish to break it down to half squad for any reason so it's combat losses let's hit that automates take down to half squad if we had two half squads we want to be put together as a squad again hit that and it takes us back to a squad next one is clone we click on clone we'll get another unit exactly the same as one we had previously. So we now got two four six sevens. And the final one, which I've used a few occasions, is delete. Click on that and it'll delete our unit. You don't always get all the choices, it depends on how the unit actually is. So a broken unit wouldn't have heat of battle and so on. So right quickening can give us a lot of extra choices, which makes our game go a lot quicker and saves us having to try and find counters and so on. Next, we'll look at using the line of sight tools. There are two different line of sight tools. First one is your main line of sight, which if we use, your opponent can see. The second one is a silent line of sight tool, which if you don't want your opponent to see exactly what you're going to be looking and aiming at. To use the line of sight tool, first of all, it's a good idea. Click this button here, and that removes our counter. You just click on the tool, drag from where we want to aim to where we wish to aim to the center dot, say on F or P5. Now, as it's red in the basic setup, unless you've changed it, this tells us that we have line of sight from L5 to P5. Now up here, it says who actually did the line of sight check, which your opponent can see from the hex I'm aiming from to the hex I'm aiming to and the range involved. If a line of sight was blocked, 
say from L6, cut it down to N7, it goes blue if line of sight is blocked. So red if line of sight is OK, blue if line of sight is blocked. To remove the line of sight thread, just click anywhere on the cat board and it will vanish. Now using the line of sight invisible one, again just click on it, mark from where we wish to, exactly the same way to where we want to aim to. Now the difference is here, up on the chat field, it just says I've done a line of sight check. It doesn't tell your opponent from where to where or the range or anything else. So your opponent will still know that you did a line of sight check, but not from which hex to which hex. Again, to remove it, just click on the board anywhere and it vanishes. Once you finish course, remember to put your counters back. Now, when we use a hidden counter tool, the first time we click it, it removes any combat unit. Second time, it removes any markers. So we need to click it again to bring everything back. Now we're going to look at the notes tab. It's fairly straightforward. We can have Notes scenario, which is visible to all, so your opponent can see those. Public notes, again visible to all. Private ones, which can only be seen by you. And the final one, delayed. Now, if you want to do a delayed one, just click new. Type in, let's say, a hidden initial place unit. So we'll just say HIP. And we put in our text, uh, we could say squad A is in board 61, uh, say N7. Just do OK. Now, that can't be seen by anybody except for you until you reveal it. When you want to reveal it, just click reveal box here. This now is revealed to everybody and that's it so it's fairly straightforward just doing notes right, the last thing we look at is these counters at the top here I said they're fairly straightforward this drag and drop situation but on some of them like the close combat markers and prisons and so on these little red triangles in the bottom which means there's more than one counter there to get those just click on it opens up go down to which one you want say one firepower on that and we can just drag it and place it where we wish to place it delete it of course like any other counter just hit right click and delete right hopefully this time I've actually covered everything so thank you for watching.